Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people for a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight, please. It won't take long. <coughs> Maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Mr. Morgan, please, leave them. You can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan, but don't feel like you have to.
It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horse... Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. So back to what I was talking about. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and this ain't easy to say, hey. but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Be careful. There are some steep turns up ahead, but the views are beautiful from up here. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So, anyway, he was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then... 
Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please! The Tanumpas. Of course. What? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. I found something. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank There's all of that, they couldn't here. have gotten too far. Yeah, okay. Well, let's continue no on. sign of the Chinupa. There's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Mr. Morgan, there's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But. But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. 
A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? for the Chinumpa. So, uh, yes, if you could do this for me, I would very much appreciate it. Yeah. What's that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> 